welcome. I'm Lynn of Linux Stitches Creates and welcome to my floss tube channel about counter cross stitch and the project bags I make. It is Tuesday, uh, March 12th, 2024. It is episode 114. Welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new, welcome to my bit of crazy. I hope you Stay around, get enabled, like, and subscribe, all the things. Um, it's been a pretty busy week. Um, stitching has gone well. So I've been doing March Stitching Challenge. Some people call it Stitching Madness, March Madness, whatever. Um, I've, I had picked eight pieces and I have put in one day uh, for each of them so far and I've started on round two with the winners doing two days. So um, let's finish up the round ones. So I had um, pulled out from Caterpillar Cross Stitch my British Isle Sal, and I'll, if that's finished, <laughs> I'm not, but I'll put where I was, and this is where I am now. I got in our Loch Ness Monster, um, did the, the flag for golf, so still not yet done but getting closer. Um, that went up against um, Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, Modern Tidings, which is based on Downton Abbey. And this is the black and white version of what the pattern will look like when it is finished. And put a picture of where it was. And I actually put in a lot of time on this one. I put in a little more than just the hour that I usually do um, for first round. So I have her head. So she's pretty much the Venus de Milo now. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so next time I pull it out, will be with her arms and she will be coming out again because she was the winner of round one. So she will get two more days at least worth of work. Um, it's kind of funny sometimes how some pieces you pull them out and you want to work on them and you're calling to you and you just go <laughs> and then other pieces like this one um, I just, I don't know, just really got into it that night. And I didn't want to stop. I worked really late on it. Sorry about the zipper. Um, then for, oh, also for round one, I pulled out a Christmas piece. I pulled out October House Love and Joy. This is where it was. And for this one, I just continued the border. So I got my border pulled all the way over there. Um, oh, and I put in, sorry, it's difficult to see. There it is. I put in that, that motif. So you can see this is an opalescent fabric, which you can't see in the pictures. It's very sad, but it is really, really pretty in person. So, but that did not win. I was really kind of surprised. What won was Flower Fairy by Stitchy Princess, who is a Ukrainian designer. That is what charted colors are. I am not doing it in charted colors. 
I pulled out colors to make it more Ukrainian flag. So that's where she is. Um, I added more here and over here. I still haven't figured out the color I'm going to do her belt yet. And I'm still kind of figuring out colors as I go. I didn't, I didn't really get a lot in on her, which is I, another reason I was kind of surprised that everyone picked her because, I mean, I love her. Don't get me wrong. I just, you know, changing the colors and not having a clear vision on the colors that I want or how I think the colors are going to look. I don't know. But she's going around two. She will have two days. Um, so my other, my first piece that went to round two. Um, so we should be friends. Had 58% of the vote for round one. And this is what the pattern looks like. <laughs> pattern looks like. And where I was. And here she is now. So I've got all the flowers done up to here. Um, there's two, two small ones that'll go, I think it's here and here, and a B. And then that side will be done, and I can come over to this side. So hopefully, um, next time I pull it out, I can do that. So that's had its two days worth of stitching. Um, the other one that's going up against this one will be counting as hard. That got actually 73% of the vote. Everybody loved that one. So... We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so other than that, I have been, other than my March Challenge stitching, I've been working on my dragons. Um, Climbing Goat Designs, uh, Dragons of Field Guide. The third dragon came out, March Dragon came out on the 10th on Sunday. I have not finished February yet. I'm optimistically saying two-thirds. I think I'm two-thirds now. Um, the Welsh Dragon, the February Welsh Dragon has been a little rough. It's It's been a lot of, you know, a few stitches here, a few stitches there, and that that's slow going. I like when there's a larger group of color. So when I got to his wings, it got easier. So this, this is where he is now. So I've started his third leg, and then he'll have a fourth leg and a tail. So there's still a bit to go, but I've made good progress. So the Japanese dragon, which is March, will go um, down this way. But we will count off of him for that one. So yeah. So I've touched a lot of things again, which is the whole point of the March stitching. I'm just looking and making sure I don't have anything else in here. Um, so yeah, so that was good stitchy week. Um, I'm umming a lot today too. I don't like that. Market haul. It's starting to come in. Um, I ordered from Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I got heartstring samplery, my scissors, my rules. I talked about that with my scissor holder. I'm going to try to get it small enough to put it on the front. 
I also had her pick up for me because th this is the bad thing about knowing people that are at market because I saw something I was like, hmm. <laughs> and I texted her, can you find this? So she did. Um, Noteworthy Needle came out with a Tooth Fairy box. And this is the pattern and the box supplies. The only thing I need to pull out is the floss and there's only four colors, so it's all DMC. So make that for my grandson. And of course, Bobby always includes a treat because you know, when you're working in your craft room, you get a little peckish. Um, so Bobby is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. So thank you, Bobby, for, for picking those up for me. Um, I have a market order with Stacy coming in, but I believe she's holding that till she gets the cookbook because I ordered the cookbook from her. So when that comes in, I'll show you. But what did come in from Stacy, uh, who is Thread the Needle Stitchery, is this month's um, Athena's Monthly Floss Pack. It was inspired by Hermione Granger of Harry Potter theme, Harry Potter movies. And these are the pretty colors. We have Shaker White. We have Brown Bear. We have Black Crow. Colonial Copper. And Betty Blue Bell, which is very pretty. It's my shirt. So, very pretty colors. Um, then, I was at Keepsakes twice this week, which with market stuff. So I'm gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna do my what I picked up on Saturday. I went to Keepsakes on Saturday because Candy came down from Columbus to stitch. And um, I haven't been for a while, I think actually stitch I haven't been since November because of the trip and being sick and everything else so they have um, gentle arts and weeks both uh, introduce new colors at market so these were the colors that caught my eye so dragon fruit look at that just a little bit of variegation to it. It's so pretty. And then Weeks had Grassland, which I'm not seeing the variegation in this one, which is really sad. Um, let's see if I do this. There, you can see it a little more, which I thought was really cool. And a new red which is cardinal. So, two, three new very pretty colors. I did not get them all. They're actually, I believe each company introduced four new colors. So, I just got those three. And then we're sitting at the table and one of my friends is looking through the Primrose, Primrose Cottage 12 monthly minis. And she's showing us, oh, isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? And I'm like, oh, hand me that. So this is the booklet. You can see, look at the snowman, if it'll focus. Look at the snowman on that pillow. And the 4th of July, and then those turkeys for Thanksgiving. And Christmas, of course, is gorgeous bees, St. Patrick's Day. Ugh. So cute. So of course I had to get that. And then last Wednesday, so we're working backwards last Wednesday, 
Brendan and Karen from Fox and Rabbit were at Keepsakes. They had brought their trunk show up from Nashville and spent the day there so people could meet them. Um, they did not have any fabric because <laughs> it was sold out. Um, I, I understand it sold out in like an hour and a half, all the fabric that they brought. So um, very sad for those people that were at the back of the line. But um, they're wonderful, it's so nice. Uh, Karen and I talked to her about the first 15 minutes. Um, I was there, I thought I was there. And I came late, um, they had, Barbara had the meet and greet from two until eight. So I had things to do that day. And after I had dinner, I ran down about 6.30 or so. Wasn't many people there at that point. So I was actually really able to, to sit and visit with them for a little bit. Um, so I told them, you know, that I had just been come back from Australia. And so they were asking me where I went and they were telling me all the places I should have gone. So now I have a whole new list of places to go so I can go back to Australia. I don't know when that'll happen, but um, probably be a while. Maybe for our 45th, who knows, or 40th. 40th comes first. Um, but anyway, um, so while I was there, the one thing I had ordered from Keepsakes was the new Heart and Hand Frosty Tiny Town. I mean, look at that. Look at that snowman. It's so cute. So. So I have not started my Any Tiny Town that she did specifically for Keepsakes Anniversary. So being that this is winter I might put that on there but now I'm thinking she did it on a gray so that the white of the snow pops and what I had for my any tiny town was white so that might not work but it would have been so pretty bummer anyway so I don't know I don't know when I'll start this um, you know we are collectors. <laughs> so that is all my haul. Um, I feel like I bought something. I ordered a couple of t-shirts from Athena. I told you last week that I was gonna. So those will come soon. Um, hopefully, um, Black Needle Society, the Gilmore Girls box went out yesterday. So everybody should be getting those over the next week or so for the Gilmore Girls retreat, which is at the end of this month. Uh, that's a digital retreat. The March box, Saturday morning stitching will be being, is being packed up as we speak and we'll go out as soon as that's done. So hopefully next week you'll have an unboxing for that. And um, the next book club for BNS, the Zoom talk is the first weekend in April, April 6th. So if you're not part of that Facebook group, join. The link is in my description box for you to um, go to the Facebook page, ask to join. And um, it's this month's book was a mother daughter murder mystery book. It sounded cute. I have, I haven't, I'm behind on everything still, so I have not listen to it yet and I'm going to be uh, with my grandson for his birthday that weekend so I will not I doubt that I'll be able to join anyway but so yeah I think that's about it so rather than waffling on I'm just gonna get off 
<laughs> so have a great week, everyone. I will see you next week.